Coach Anthony here with uh, Big Baby Miller. How you feeling, man? Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday was crazy, man. You know, I, I, I hope they call him on stage to do his thing, and he's staring at me like he's trying to punk me. Like he must have got, he must have got it fucked up. <laughs> but uh, like I said, man, like yeah, it's the fight game. But that's how I am, man. I'm not doing this shit for just for looks and for talks. Man, you can follow my track record, man. This is how I've been since I was an amateur kickboxer. First walked in the gym. Before I walked in the gym, he was on a block playing around. If somebody brought the gloves out, we was going to slap box. We was popping junk. That's just how it always was. So he don't know, man. He don't know. He, yeah. he, he walking in. He walking to, a, to, to Death Valley right now. And, that, and that's what I like, man. I like what you said when you said, you know, I've been here before. I fought in Japan. I fought in these different countries. And, you know, yeah. they, they looking at you not realizing you got that kind of experience. Yeah, yeah. He talking about he, he welcoming me to big time boxing. I'm like, man, shut the hell up. You got to knock the F out. Like, uh, right. Like, yo, play your role. You, know, you, you a stepping stone for my ass right now. So just you gonna sit there. You gonna, I'm going to knock you on your chin and you're going to take a seat. Next. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? Simple. Everybody that's fought him, you know, since he's the gentleman, has been real nice. And even even Deontay Wilder wasn't like really stepping to him aggressively nah. like you are. Deontay, so. Deontay yo, I'm, 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 I broke it down before. I'm gonna say something. I'm a student of the game. What I mean, I study boxing. I study boxing. I know what this dude ate last night. Like, I, I, I watch these guys to a T. I know they ate for breakfast for, for like a week ago. That's how much I watch boxing. So don't don't think because I pop shit, I study everything about these dudes. And you gotta understand. Deontay was scared of him for the first couple rounds. Deontay didn't land no punches the first couple rounds, no significant shots the first couple rounds. Why guy he's fighting a guy his height, and he was afraid to, to, to put the pressure on him because he thought he was going to get clipped. The minute Deontay got his cojones back and he realized that Jarrell Watson is a punk, he put some pressure on, and he finally started really landing right hand the right way. And the minute he threw a bunch of them, because he was missing, throwing them just from far as usual, like how he usually boxes. The minute he finally lined them up for a right hand, which wasn't really that solid, because Gerard gassed himself out doing all that hokey dokey bullshit. He dropped him and stopped him. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you got to study this guy's track record. He gets tired in all his fights by the fourth, fifth round, and every one of his fights by smaller guys. That's not as imposing as I am. Now, he's telling me that he's going to put pressure on me and walk me down. Highly unlikely. But I prepare for whatever he brings to the table. I got, I got, I got, I got something for that. Yeah, and that, and that's what I'm saying. After the way you stepped to him yesterday, you think you're gonna get him out of his game plan? Because typically he likes to step back. He likes to stay at range. He tries to, he tries to box. You know, he doesn't have that boxing experience that some guys do, but he tries to box a guy. You think you got him pissed off enough where he'll stand there with you and trade a little bit? Listen, before I cut you guys off, man. Legendary train over there. I gotta get a picture. Yeah. I'm a big fan of his too. Yeah. Man. So. Yeah. Uh, City game was I forgot I seen him coming. Yeah. yeah. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think uh, that you gonna get him out of his uh, element and make him want to uh, trade with you since you you know you stepped to him so aggressively yesterday? He's I'm, pissed off. I'm definitely gonna get him out of element. I don't know if it's gonna make him trade off of me, but I'm definitely gonna get him out of his comfort zone for sure. Um, this by the way he spars. This by the opponents, he's, the po people he picked for sparring. I know how they move. I know how they react to punches. I know how they how they react in fights. So you think about the people he's around and who he's training with, and the way he already fights, you can get an eighty percent idea of how he's gonna come out to fight. Now, maybe he might flip on me and come out throwing bombs the first round. I doubt that too. But like I said, I'm prepared for anything he comes out with because I've seen it all already. People can say, "Well, I, I haven't had that many boxing fights." My first couple professional fights were against some dangerous, pretty decent, decent guys that would, I fought uh, number one amateur in uh, Joey Juanco, and I whooped this behind. But it get, it gave me a draw after taking away two points. So I sparred a lot of guys so I've seen it all man so I'm not worried about it now fighting in Brooklyn man how's that for you man I know I this mean, gotta I mean, be exciting you know, it's so crazy because I mean when you when you grew up in your neighborhood and you driving like that I remember when I got to my first street fight here I was born right here I remember the first my, mm -hmm. <laughs> the first girlfriend I, I already right knew you was gonna say I, I already was knew like, like, <laughs> she's Puerto Rican she's <laughs> so it's so funny when you y'all come on I walk around like People notice me like, yo, that's Big Baby. Like, what up, man? It's, 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 it's a cool vibe, man. The cold house right there. I can't tell them to go see my boys. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like this is my city, man. So right. I'm going to put on, but I'm going to put on smart. You know what I mean? Like, right. me and Shannon was on the phone the other day, and he was like, yo, listen, man. You know, I fought him a couple times. and ain't going my way because I wanted to please the crowd. He said, don't please the crowd. Just do, be smart, right. and everything going to land in place. And you know? that's the main thing, man. Just be me, man. That's it, man. Right. I'm not... All that crowd shit, I ain't worried about all that, man. I yeah. do mean. Hey, man, you know, good luck to you tomorrow. I know you're going to do your thing, man. Appreciate you're great it. for boxing, man. man we love thanks, the personality, man. Thanks, man. and I know you can fight, and you can back it up. Yeah, Looking man. forward to it, my brother. Behind the gloves, baby. Big baby out. Yeah, you know.